Hey party people, DP here and welcome to BP Fun. I am here to talk about my reaction to Marvel's What If Season 3 trailer. This one's going to be a bit of a doozy. So Season 1 was really good, Season 2 was okay. It wasn't exactly my favorite mainly because it kind of gave me stories that I really did not care for. And I think that because I saw this trailer and I kind of know the direction that they're going with almost a bit of an end game type of ordeal where they have all the people that they introduced you to coming into one. I don't know how I feel about the whole linear story. The whole point of Marvel's what ifs is to give you the what if scenarios, not have everything lead up to one linear narrative which that's the one thing that just kind of bothers me because I was hoping that we would see just different scenarios, see how it would play out, and that's it. The biggest example would be Marvel Zombies, where we had the zombie apocalypse, but we never went any further than that. I kind of like that, but I also would have wanted to have some stories continue. The only thing is, is that I feel that they are continuing stories for characters or at least story arcs that we really don't give too much of a hoot about. But as everyone else most likely agrees, when we saw Storm, that was definitely a game changer. Finally bringing the X-Men into the MCU in a whole different way, not just Logan, Wolverine right here, coming into the MCU, but actually seeing other characters popping into the universe. And even cooler than that, a Thor ish variant of Storm holding Mjolnir and wielding Mjolnir's power. That's pretty sick. Regardless of that fact, I have a little bit of hope as I am usually optimistic about this type of stuff, but at the same time, season two was not it for me. It really just did not do it for me. It was sometimes kind of cringe in some areas, but for the most part, I did enjoy it in some places. Some stories just it just was not interesting to me and i hope that this being the final season of what if which personally i think that's a little ridiculous to have this be the last season and that's it i think that they need to expand more on other what ifs from other comics so that we could see the perspectives of different creators out there or what the fans want to see personally it would be a perfect opportunity to bring miles morales at some point even though technically spider-verse is canon per se with the mcu but it's still a whole complicated thing marvel just do the right thing add characters that you're hoping to add into the mcu already and just roll with it because that is what what ifs are supposed to be about the case scenarios that nobody thinks of or maybe some people are thinking about and would like to see it on the big screen or in this case the small screen personally i think they need to get their act together and make sure that they actually give us stories that we are actually interested in so here's my hope for it. I am excited to see what direction they take it, but I'm really nervous at the same time that we might get something that just isn't worth it. In that case, do you agree? Do you think that Marvel's What If Season 3 is going to be good? Or if it's going to be not as good just like the second one or even worse? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more nerdy content just like this. And sit on this one for a bit. See you in the next one.